Uh, we are here today to announce the completion of this year's backpack to school drive and distribute the backpacks and the school supplies to the students here at the Museum School 25. Uh, the goal of this program was to bring together our communities in helping make sure that our students have the supplies they need as they head back to school this week. Thanks to the tremendous support of the residents and the businesses in our city, I'm proud to announce that we are distributing hundreds of backpacks uh, to the Museum School 25 this year. This speaks volumes about the strength of our city. Uh, Yonkers always comes together uh, in the best interest of those, especially our youth. And I'd like to thank all the participants. The participants, and if we could give them a round of applause, I'd appreciate it. Uh, Empire City Casino, uh, Dealers Access Bag and Pack, uh, for their generous contributions, as well as many residents who also dropped off backpacks and school supplies uh, in the drop boxes at the city buildings all across the city. Uh, since this program was launched two years ago, we've provided uh, more than 2,500 Yonkers students in need uh, with school supply packages. And the programs like this go beyond supporting those receiving school supplies. They demonstrate the true pride that Yonkers takes in helping others in our city. This is a great start to a new school year. You guys excited about the new school year? Come on, man. How excited are you about school this year? Come on, that's out here real loud, bro. I want to say good luck to all of our students as you head back to school. Um, now, with this program, it doesn't work unless, of course, you have some partners. And I'm going to start by asking the minority leader of the Anchor City Council, Mike Sabatino, to come up to say a few words. Because without the City Council, a mayor can't do much, especially when it comes to funding programs. So, uh, so with that, I'm going to ask. Uh, the Minority Leader of Yonkers City Council, Mike Sabatino. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So, in a few more days, you'll be back at school. Everybody excited? Yeah. Good. You're going to learn a lot this year? Yeah. Good. I just want to thank everybody who's involved with this project, for all of the uh, merchants who have donated uh, the backpacks and the supplies and all those volunteers that have helped uh, pack pack packs. So uh, hopefully this will give you a good head start in this school year. So once again, I thank everybody that's involved. Thank you. And thank you to Mike Sabatino, and thank you to the entire city council, obviously our, our council president, Liam McLaughlin. Uh, the next special guest, uh, you have somebody who needs no introduction, but somebody who's doing a great job for this city and for all of you, and uh, somebody I've known a long time and a good friend, and that's the superintendent of schools, Dr. Mike Uzola. Thank you, Mayor, and good afternoon, everyone. I also want to thank all those who contributed to making these backpacks uh, possible for the children. It, it is a community coming together to take care of its children. I can tell everyone here that this mayor cares about the children in the city of Yonkers more than anyone I've known, and I've been Yonkers all my life. He really does care. We meet every week just to talk about the schools. I also want to thank Mike Sabatino. Last year we were doing the budget. I kept saying they need more money, I need more money to the city council, and they did come up with an extra million dollars for our children, so thank you. I understand sometimes teachers get a bad rap, but I'm gonna tell you, our teachers care about our kids and work hard. And I understand that the YFT, the Yonkers Federation of Teachers, has donated books to all the children. So thank you, Dr. Leia. Now I want to say one thing to the children. In, on Thursday, it'll be the first day of my full year, my first full year as the superintendent of Yonkers. I started last February, but September 4th will be my first day. I want us to do better than we've ever done before 
but I need the help of all the children in this room. Can you put up your hands if you're willing to help me be better than we are? Thank you. Thank you. Good luck this year. Bye-bye. That's great. That's a great message. And thank you, Dr. Y, for all you do. Uh, I know that uh, the president of Ward is not here today, but he wanted to, uh, to be here. That's Dr. Nair Sage. Uh, the teachers. You know that the president of the Yonkers Federations of Teachers is here with me today. I'm going to ask her to come up and say a few words. Uh, Pat Paleo is tenacious. She is a fighter and she's a fighter for you. She wants to make sure that the teachers have the, the, the tools they need to make sure that you guys can make that next step. And uh, with that, I'd like to ask uh, Pat Paleo to say a few words. There are books in the backpack, and by all means, enjoy reading to your children. They are small for such a short time, enjoy it. I would ask, we have a good attendance rating. This year, I'm asking if every parent could make sure that their child is in school at least 99% of the time. So if there's one thing you can do for your child is to make sure they're up, they're on the bus, and they're fed. Thank you. Very good, and that's a great message for all of us to, uh, especially, I think that I have to get up early in the morning and get my littles out to school, so. Uh, but we have here our principal, Valencia Brown Wyatt, and I'm gonna ask her to say a few words. How about we give it up for your principal? Come on, guys. Thank you, boys and girls and parents. It's a known fact that it takes a village to raise a child. With that being said, the village has now spoken and will continue to speak. This is living proof how people have given up their time, their talents, their efforts, their donations to make sure that this happens for you on the first day. So with that being said, boys and girls, I challenge you every day to wake up with a smile on your face and learning in your heart because it is up to all of us to make sure that each and every last one of you exceed. For my parents, it is extremely important to continue being your children's biggest cheerleaders in everything they do. Continue to partner with us because the reality is you can't expect what you don't inspect. Meaning, check those book bags. Make sure that they are doing that homework and if they don't understand it, that's okay. That's what we're here for. We're gonna help them out and together we will continue to do great things. With that being said, I wanna take this opportunity to thank Mayor Mike Spano, Superintendent Dr. Yarzulo, as well as all of um, our distinguished guests, our board of directors, our board of trustees, the community who actually donated all of the supplies as well as the book bags, as well as my internal staff for laying everything out and making sure that everything is on accord. Let's give a round of a rah-rah applause and a thank you to everyone who made this possible.